Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and before I start talking about possible May reworks, I do want to apologize for not posting a funny moments yesterday, or really for the past couple of weeks. I'm actually in the process of moving houses, and those specific videos take upwards of 10 hours to make, so I've just been really busy, and wanted to make those long videos just would take a lot out of me. Eventually, I will post my final placements for season 21, and also classic competitive, but for right now, let's talk about some May reworks, cause boy, you you know this is not gonna be the last May nerf. If you guys don't know, the experimental mode recently updated with a lot of crowd control nerfs. Of course, our lovely Queen May got another nerf on experimental mode, which by the way, Jeff, I just wanna say, you kinda lied to us. It seems like you're using the experimental mode to test out nerfs to push onto live servers and PTR. When, when, when you said, when you said you were gonna use experimental mode to test out wild and drastic ideas, you did that for the first time, and then the next times, Man, you pushed out the nerves. But in case you guys do or do not know, basically May's primary freeze and her ultimate, the time that the enemy is frozen is now shorter. I did a whole entire video going into the details and why this might be effective or ineffective for the hero, but for this case, whether they do go onto live servers or not, because there still is a possibility that they don't go onto live servers, but you know they're gonna go on live servers, it's still not gonna change the fact that May is gonna be one of the best and most played heroes for the DPS spot. And that's my biggest problem when it comes to really any hero nurse. Now, it just so happened to be my favorite hero, and there are still gonna be people that call me bias, but I was trying to defend the Symmetra mains when it came to Symmetra getting nerfed, or the Mercy Reavers. You know, I've talked about lots of other heroes. Again, just so happened to be my favorite hero, but they brought upwards of four or five nerfs for May, and she's still taking the number one spots from so many other DPS heroes. So it's gonna come to a point where they're gonna bring two or three more nerfs nerfs and eventually bring her down from the number one spot, but at what cost, Thanos? So to help avoid bringing more unnecessary nerfs to May, because you have to realize, like five nerfs have came to May in the past couple of months, I want to bring a dedicated video where everybody can contribute their ideas to possibly reworking May so that Joe Schmoes that are just now picking up May won't be able to put in work with her, but people that have spent countless hours playing May can still play her consistently and at a high level without seeing their own gameplay deteriorate all because they decide to nerf May so that Joe Schmoes can't just effectively play her. And the thing that I want to rework is her survivability because we nerfed everything else about her. We nerfed the health of her wall and then we nerfed the timing of her wall and then we nerfed her primary form of fire. So why not try to rework the one thing that hasn't been touched yet, her ice block and her health. The rework idea that I have is gonna be focusing on her cryo freeze ability because right now you are able to stay in your cryo freeze for 4.25 seconds and you can gain upwards of 150 health if you stay in the whole entire time. I wanna change the amount of health that you gain while in your cryo freeze to 100 health and I also wanna decrease the time that you have in your cryo freeze to three seconds. But that's the nerf portion of this rework, but there is a huge huge buff idea that I've been a huge advocate for for the longest time and with the recent nerfs I think this is going to be a doable rework. Every single time you go into your cryo freeze you come out of your cryo freeze with a full clip of ammo. This is exactly like the reaper wraith form rework where every single time you went into wraith form you get the full eight bullets with reaper. The reason why I think this is a good rework is because the people that suck with May who were lying in the primary freeze well the recent nerf where they brought down the ammo for her aren't really gonna benefit from the full clip of ammo, but the people that actually are good with May who use their secondary form of fire, well, now they're not necessarily a sitting duck because now they have ammo to be able to defend themselves, and the people that are good with May aren't necessarily using the cryo freeze to gain more health, which is actually a good benefit for you because now you can actually focus on May because you know that she just used one of her abilities, one of her most annoying abilities, but if she just so happened to kill you from the benefit of this buff, which is being able to get more ammo, well that just means you suck and she outplayed you. But the nerf where they decrease that primary form of fire is gonna really help this idea, help this rework buff be even more appealing to most people. But the reason why I think this rework is also good as terms of the nerf is because this nerfs the idea of her being a two CP stall hero. Is it gonna get rid of that idea indefinitely? No, but it gets rid of two things. One, the shorter duration of her cryo freeze means that now you're gonna be able to, well, just kill her fast. 
faster. And the fact that she gains less health from her cryo freeze means that her survivability is going to be nerfed indefinitely, whether it's on 2 CP or just any other given time. You have to realize Mei is much more than just a 2 CP stall hero. So in those times where she's not stalling out on 2 CP, well, this ability should allow her to be able to heal, just not heal all the way where her healer should be able to do that. I really do think this rework idea is going to be beneficial from both parties because there will be some maze that just use the cryo freeze to reload their ammo. But once you see that cryo freeze is instantly gone, then that should be a cue for you to focus the maze because they have no way of protecting themselves other than the wall. But the wall is already nerfed too. This is really just going off the idea of more ammo opportunities versus more healing opportunities. Because I think that's the most frustrating part about May is that you bring her down, she protects herself for four seconds, and she's already at full health. But the good May players, at least for me, I'm frustrated at the fact that I'm a sitting duck every single time I use cryo freeze and I have no way of defending myself, even with full ammo. If you're a coordinated May that plays with their healer, well, your healer's gonna finish off that 50 health beyond that that you otherwise would have had before the nerf. And you get extra ammo to your benefits, where if you're good with May, you're gonna be able to get more kills. The reason why I think this is gonna work for everybody is that if you spam cryo freeze just for ammo, well, there's less opportunity opportunities to protect yourself. It's worked with Reaper, so why not let it work for May? Or maybe you think I'm dumb and she deserves a different nerf. Or maybe you think she doesn't deserve another nerf at all, which I'm all for no more May nerfs, but I'm being a realist here. You know another nerf is coming, so why not bring a rework and just end it all? I'm all for that, especially me ending it all. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you think of this idea or what you think she needs, and I'll see you guys later. I love you guys, and bye.